Welcome to Fresh Dialogues. I'm Alison Van Dickelen. Today I'm talking with Lyndon Rive, the CEO of Solar City. So yes. Do you feel Solar City is a little overextended right now? No, actually, the mailing list has improved. We, uh, our worst uh, was in 2008. Um, as the operation gets bigger and bigger, it actually gets easier and easier to scale. So um, four months is, is totally acceptable. Customers uh, uh, totally understand it. And we don't want to grow much faster. Could we grow even faster than we're currently growing? Yes. But then the wheels may start getting shaky. So, so we are growing at a healthy rate to maintain quality, safety, and then also customer satisfaction. And tell us about the agreement you made with Google. How did you get Google to part with 280 million? It was an investment for them, of course, but tell us a little about the background of that agreement. Sure. So um, uh, Google has been very proactive in looking at alternative sources of investment that have a, a social good as well. Um, but what is key to understand is they, they actually get a fair return on the, on the investments. Um, we will see, we, our expectation is that companies like Google and then potentially other Fortune 100 or Fortune 1000 companies will start making similar investments. In order to monetize the full benefits of a solar system, there are additional, there's a federal tax credit. So you need a company that has a large, uh, tax, uh, large tax paying company to value that, that asset. Right. And so that's why they invest in it. So they have this large tax paying uh, company. Might as well use that tax bill to motivate the growth and, um, uh, of the renewable industry. All right. And did you approach Google? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and we're approaching hundreds of uh, uh, the Fortune 1000 companies. So let's talk about the China question. Solar City uses um, solar panels from China, from Korea, from Japan, and also manufactured here in the United we States. Do. Um, the Obama administration recently imposed a tariff on so-called cheap Chinese subsidized panels. Where do you see that going and does that give you cause for concern? So um, the, it, it's, a, it's more of an annoyance than a concern. Um, the solar industry is working extremely hard to reduce its cost. Um, today uh, the solar industry has incentives, but the incentives are declining at a very fast rate. If you just look at California, the incentive was $2.70 a watt just um, uh, five years ago. Now it's 25 cents a watt. Right. So massive reduction in incentives. But the adoption has never been higher. And the reason why the adoption has never been higher is that the cost curve has managed to keep up with the incentive reduction. Do you think cheap Chinese panels has been a major factor? The, the largest factor is economy of scale. Through scale, you get more and more manufacturing occurring. Right. Um, as more and more manufacturers get current, then those who are good at manufacturing are going to get into the space. And over time, the solar industry will be able to sustain itself without incentives. So when there's a small tariff put on, it's just an annoyance. It's just delaying to get into that point where we can survive without incentives. Are you not concerned that the tariff is just starting? It's going to increase? Solar panels is, is a worldwide market. So if China's cost goes up, we'll just buy from somebody else. Let's talk about the future. Um, where do you see Solar City in five years, ten years from now? Um, so, absolute future. So let, not, not, let's not put a time frame on it. Okay. Um, so, absolute future. The goal is for Solar City to become the largest energy provider in the country and then eventually the world. I want to provide cheaper, clean electricity to homeowners and businesses and give them a better choice than they have today. Short-term goal is just to do step by step, just keep on growing, keep on growing uh, until we get to, to the long-term goal. All right. And you said earlier you're looking for other investors like Google to come in and uh, help fund the financing for the solar panels. Um, ultimately, there's been talk about an IPO. Do you still see that on the cards for this year? Now, unfortunately, I can't comment on the IPO. Okay. But I can comment on the uh, Google side. So what our, our, we will continually be raising funds like Google, uh, essentially for, for in perpetuity. Um, that's the business model, is to install systems for free, so we need capital to pay for that, and then take a long-term revenue stream on, on the electricity that we sell. So that, as fast as we grow, that's the business model we're in.